Yo, what is going on guys? Back on this Madden 16 career mode. Still 69 overall. Well, what is most important is that the St. Louis Rams are 3-0. And our next matchup is against the Arizona Cardinals, who are 1-2. And, and as you see, our offensive yards, we are 8th in the NFL in offensive yards. And 1st in the NFL in total defense allowed. Now, I think the quarters I play have to play a role in them because I only play 8 minute long quarters. Now, say if it was like, you know, a 10 minute long game, probably our defense would probably be, be you know, not number one. But on into the game, you see the Arizona Cardinals, they're getting super, super high. We're playing in their stadium. So we have to get a win on the road in their home field. But I'm pretty sure that it will be easy because Escobar Sanchez don't play no games and he is becoming an emerging NFL wide receiver. So our first possession on offense, first and 10. Escobar Sanchez is going in motion. Nick Foles drops back and the connection, the Nick Foles connection to Escobar Sanchez has already started. And as that throw, Nick Foles surpasses the 1,000 yard mark on the season. On the second and 10, Nick Foles finds Kenny Brick on the slant, making that another first down. So we're moving the ball often and early, which is pretty good, which is very good. And that's what we need to do. On a second and eight, another pass play. And the falls to Escobar Sanchez connection is real. And Escobar Sanchez, like, literally flattens out Patrick Peterson. Patrick Peterson looked like he got shot. Like, straight up. Look at Patrick Peterson fall. It really looked like he got shot. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, shit. So, on a first and ten, another passing play. Nick Foles is starting to grow confident. He tosses it to Escobar Sanchez, who had a hand on the ball. But Patrick Peterson, one of the greatest cornerbacks in the game right now plays Escobar Sanchez's hands and watch him I think that was pass interference watch the hand of Patrick Peterson on the back of Escobar Sanchez where's the flag on that play where's the flag on a second and ten same thing same result Pat Pete is there to knock the ball out of Escobar Sanchez's hands as we are facing a third and ten now Foles drops back, goes the other way, but it is intercepted by Gerard's powers. He gets brought down by Trey Mason, but an interception in the red zone, that's not good. And with that turnover, the Cardinals do score, so they're up by seven. But on the first and ten, the very first play back on offense, that is Todd Gurley taking it 80 yards down the field. Tying the game up 7-7. Seven seven. Great downfield blocking by everybody. And watch Escobar Sanchez. He's trying to make sure that Todd Gurley makes it into the end zone. But he almost trips up Todd Gurley. I almost tripped him up that run and play like I really did like I almost tripped him up but on a tie game our next position on offense there it goes the false to Sanchez connection is real getting that pass for the first down that's already my third reception of the game and with only 17 seconds left in the first quarter Foles is going deep up top but Sanchez cannot get the ball in Pat Pete is really, really, really having his day against Sanchez. That's his third deflection of the game. So on our next offense possession, we're facing a third and six. San oh my gosh. Nick Foles, come on. You can't keep throwing interceptions like that, man. That ball was straight to Tyron Matthews, who had a hell of a week against the San Francisco 49ers. He had two interceptions and a pick six. But that ball was straight to him. So now down by four, with only a little bit over a minute left in the first half, Nick Foles finds Jerry Cook for a 23-yard catch. And on the very next play, first and 10, Nick Foles goes deep to Gerard Cook again. He hauls in the pass, and he gets himself into the end zone. Watch, watch the touchdown dash. Okay, I see you, buddy. 
So on into the second half. Down by seven. The Arizona Cardinals offense are really, really, really putting up points right now. But our offense has to find a way to tie the game. Nick Foles has now had 206 yards, one touchdown and two interceptions. As we are now close to the red zone and there goes another interception thrown by Foles. Ah, I think there was a little bit miscommunication there, but our defense holds up and stops the Cardinals from scoring on that turnover. So we get the ball back on our next offensive possession. And on the first and 10, Nick Foles finds Escobar Sanchez for the 11 yard catch. There we go. Four receptions for 35 yards. Not a big day, but Escobar is doing all he can to help the team. And on the very, very next play, second and three, Escobar Sanchez reaches high for that catch for the first down to move the chains. Escobar Sanchez is getting hype. So on the next play, Nick Foles tries to take that in advantage, throwing deep to Escobar with the one-handed catch. Oh my gosh, if he would have caught that. If he would have caught that, Gerard Powers' career would have been over. The Cardinals would have literally released him on the spot if Escobar would have caught that catch. A perfectly thrown ball. Oh my gosh, if Escobar would have caught that catch. Y'all would have seen y'all y'all would have seen mad replays of it. I would have played it all the time. Like straight up. All the time. I don't care. Like y'all would have seen that catch all the time. Good job that time moving the change. You're thinking touchdown. First and goal at the nine yard line. A poorly thrown pass by Nick Foles. And Pat Pete makes the interception in front of Escobar. And that is Nick Foles' fourth interception of the game. Fourth interception of the game. So we're literally shooting ourselves in the foot. I was open that play. But just a poorly thrown ball by Nick Foles. Pat Pete. Cuts in front of Escobar Sanchez, catches the ball at his highest point, and now our defense has to try to stop the Cardinals offense to get from scoring, which they do. It's still a 21 to 14 game. In our next offensive possession, we really have to go down the field and score to tie the game up at least. So on a first and 10, Nick Foles finds Escobar Sanchez. These two are having a real good connection this game. And on the first and ten, right back to Escobar Sanchez, he goes. Second and ten. Nick Foles is going deep to Escobar, and he caught one over Patrick Peterson and broke the tackle, but gets brought down by three other Cardinals. Escobar Sanchez climbing the ladder. Going up high, snagging the ball up from the air, protecting the ball so Pat Pete wouldn't knock it away. Oh man. First thing goal, play action. Nick Foles finds the tight end for the touchdown. Tying up the game. Wide open on that play. A great read by Nick Foles. He didn't try to force the ball like he did on his fourth interception. So game is tied now look on our next stop position our defense was able to hold the Cardinals to zero points we have a minute and 10 seconds to get the ball all the way down the field to kick the game time field goal first and 10 Nick Foles knows where to go in tight game situation like this so on the third and two Nick Foles scrambles for the first down but he needs to slide man he needs to slide he needs to learn how to slide so at the 16 yard line, second and six. A run play up the middle, Trey Mason gets brought down at the seven yard line. It's 30 inches now. What the fuck happened? We were at the seven yard line. How the hell were we not able to kick the game time field goal? That makes absolutely no sense. But here we are in overtime, a short pass goes the distance for the first down. And that is Quick, who made the catch and got brought down for the first down. Now we're at the 32 yard line, we're trying to score. And watch Escobar Sanchez manhandle Patrick Peterson. And look at Todd Gurley, he, he's been a workhorse this game. 
He's, he's giving the receiver some new and on the first and ten, Escobar Sanchez and this Pat Pete competition is getting real. And on the third and ten, an incomplete pass, which forces which forces fourth and ten. So we have to go for the field goal to be up by three. Now we have to ask our defense to step up again and to not allow the Cardinals to score nor kick a field goal. Our defense comes through. Game over. We came out of Arizona with the nail biter, and we're gonna leave here with the W. So that makes us 4-0 and leaves the Cardinals to 1-3. A very, very nail biting game. And it was just we could we just kept shooting ourselves in the foot. But as you see the stats, our offense did way better. Way better than the Cardinals. But with all the turnovers and the takeaways the Cardinals had, that's what kept them in the game. So we have to do better next week with the turnovers. But if you enjoyed the video, give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. New videos are coming on the way. Stay tuned. As for always, I'm your boy NSG Commentary, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.